Okay, well, there's the fungal tower. No big surprise. We knew that was going to be somewhere up in this area. <laughs> Love it. We got the Triffids. We got the Fungal Bloom. And we've got the Fungal Tower. Heavily infested. North pretty much sucks. All of the north sucks. This, isn't this... No, this is not the uh, the NPC faction thing. Hey, look, we got another, uh, <laughs> we got another Exodii base. Bunch of useless schlubs. Hate those guys. All right, so we got a, a regional dump, a mine. I haven't been into a new mine yet. And also, we have a fire lookout tower buried deep in the woods. Radio tower, radio tower. Is this a collapsed? Not a collapsed. Is it a, not a lab tower? So not much in Ludlow. This is the Bastion Fort. Hey, Bastion Fort. Do we need a cannon? I don't think I need a cannon. Airplane crash. Um, I'm not seeing much that interests me, fortunately. Well, this where I'm at isn't a, an air, uh, a radio tower. This is uh, a wind turbine. So it's different. <laughs> and you have to break your way in. Either torch or jackhammer or other such method. Unlike a radio tower, you can just climb. Uh, I have no interest in the Exodii. I guess it's possible that one stocks different CBMs that I could purchase. Maybe we'll go look. We come out here, go to there, hop into that, check it out, come back out. Nah, screw them. I, I, I just can't stand them. I'm not going to go there. That's part of the uh, abusing the, <laughs> the NPCs. Although on this character, I've already done the legwork, so I, I guess it's fair game. Um, Yeah, we'll probably go look. Just so I can see how bad the early bionics are. Otherwise, I don't see much reason to go out that way other than just to continue driving. I can't break north through that section. Uh, south, we'd have to come back to this road network. And uh, that radio tower, if it doesn't have wasps, would get us a view further south. But I'm going to have to start working my way back to the east here pretty soon, or back to the west here pretty soon if I'm going to stay linked to that previous location. All right, let's... Uh, Put thought into action here. Maybe we'll get turned aside by a big old batch of woodland whites. Yep, charging me. Charging me. Now they're on the roadway, so if I try to come back again, I might be in trouble. What is... What is at the center of this web? Uh, spider egg sack. Giant sack of spider's eggs. Each one larger than your fist. Deliberately moving... Or definitely moving around. Really gross. Just seeing it makes your skin crawl. Oh, all right. Raise your hand if you remember the spider basements. <laughs> I don't know when they actually went away. I'm assuming they've gone away. I I haven't seen one in years. Real world years. mobbed by uh, woodland whites when I go into this forest. I hate going into forests. So dangerous. Let's get the vibe out. I'm tempted to get the big gun out just in case I get in trouble here since I can't control the circumstances as well. Um. Nah. Let's... Alright, safe mode on. I want to go here. See if I get killed. Killed yet, but it stopped moving me. It forced me to walk all the way around on my own. Pitbull! Oh no. Kitties are after me. And a word spider somewhere. Where's the word spider? Of course, up in the front edge. 
Uh, where'd all this stuff come from? <laughs> that makes me a little nervous. What the hell? What's with the bubbling acid goo? We'll try to stay far enough away from the weird spider. Alright, I didn't piss them off, right? I don't remember pissing them off, so hopefully we don't get shot. Turn the headlamp on. Coming through, don't step into my path. Alright, Rubik. Man, I hate Rubik. Chat, Rubik. What have you got for trade? Um, zero? <laughs> zero CBMs? External climate control kit? That's that's not the actual CBM climate control, is it? I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it says it could be used for some form of central cooling, but I, I don't know if I believe. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole bunch of I don't care. Big old pile of waste of my time. All right, we're out of here again. Uh, oh, don't go in there. <laughs> Wasting more of my time. Thank goodness. Just about got blocked out. Uh, let's go the other way. Praying Mantis. North. Hey, these woods are scary. I get past the south edge here. We'll try to auto move again. <laughs> Cannot reach that destination. I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no complete blocks to my movement path there. How about now? Saw something red on the screen for a second there. Okay, as expected. Total waste of my time. Um, Keep going or backtrack and south. I think I'd rather backtrack and south for now. We know this is here as a possible route we can take up later. Hopefully those woodland whites don't uh, smash into me on my way through the roadway. I'm a little worried about that. I think they'll be right on the road and they'll be spread out enough I won't be able to dodge them in this stupid RV. Will an EMP bomb do anything? I'm pretty sure it will, but there's so many turrets. And I don't think there's any reason to do it. I know uh, the hub has a big underground area. Whether it's worth going after them, I don't know. But uh, I know there's a big underground lab type place for the hub. But I don't think the Exodii go up. And there were a bunch of like towers and stuff. But I, I have no idea if there's anything in them worth the, uh, the, the attempt. All right, there they are. Can I make it around? Yes. Cool. Uh, let's go south. Roadblock. Riot control. Can we, can we avoid getting shot this time? First aid kit. Uh, I got plenty. Nothing there I care about. Follow the road. Why has the uh, Woodland White finally got off my screen? Yeah, the uh, the plan if you did if you missed the intro, <laughs> the plan is to uh, you know try to find something fun to do with this character today. If by the end of this stream I still <clears throat> still haven't found a location that I think would be fun to go into or figured out some kind of uh, more direct goal for the character, 
beyond what we've already accomplished, then we'll uh, we'll wrap this one up this evening and we'll fire up a brand new challenge on Monday. Technically, we've already completed the primary goal of the challenge, which was to uh, cure ourselves of all of the broken bionics that we started with, which we managed to do on Monday's stream. With no help whatsoever from the Exodii. You know, those interdimensional super geniuses of cybernetics with a 55% fail rate to uh, take out the simplest bionic. Whereas a homegrown earthly nurse bot <laughs> had, a, had a, like a 2% fail rate. 2% versus 55%. So, hopefully that's an oversight and somebody will go in and, you know, <laughs> let the Exodii remove Bionics uh, in as efficient a manner as they do install them. Let's check for uh, batteries. I've already got two good batteries. Oh, I got three good batteries, so I don't really need more, but... Nah, that's a bad one. Too much damage, it's draining, so... I don't want the solar panels. Solar panels are dumb. In the current game environment, anyway, solar panels are dumb. Totally unnecessary. No real function. Crack! That means a body sight. Deep in the woods. That crack might have run a little ways. Yeah, I can't see the items anywhere. Uh, the road continues. I might get a view of the body sight a little further over. So. Let's go see if we've got a wasp queen at the top of the radio tower. We've had that once so far this run. Alright, come here, crack. I know you're just here as a, an interdimensional visitor. Goodbye, crack. Back to your dimension. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, we finally got one with the uh, the telescope and the ammo. I don't need either, but, you know, fun. Good to see the variants. Crack came through the woods here. I'm still not seeing anything. It might be that there's just a portal with no body sight or items. Uh, do I? So we, we scanned to the south. Got yet another lookout tower, another radio tower. Crab people, and unfortunately, a river runs through it. So more stuff i don't care about we can inch up and around the town here in the tower work our way out to the east but it's looking like we're gonna hit the river might be a bridge might not so i can either go out that way or it's just go west young man <laughs> and if that's the same river we're gonna have it continuously blocking our progress i think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go west. We'll go south to the tower. Uh, I don't like swamps being here either, but we'll go south to the tower. We'll check it real quick and get a little bit further view south, and then I'll probably go back north. Alright, let's turn this bus around. Amigo Scout, two Gracken, so there's a body site. I don't think that's where the Gracken came from. It's a type of site I don't care about, though. Not going to have any items that interest me. I can go wide around it. Not wide enough. I'm going to get shot. Oh, he tried. He fired his gun at me. in the road. More wasps in the road. That doesn't bode well. I suspect that's going to be a wasp radio tower. 
It wouldn't normally be this far. Oh, yes, it's definitely a wasp radio tower. All right, now I need to continue my turn without letting this wasp get in the vehicle and without me crashing into trees. Eh, go fast, go fast. <laughs> oh, man. Doing some careful tactical maneuvering in a luxury RV. Okay, so we weren't able to use that. Uh, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll go across the road and we'll just sweep to the west. I won't go all the way south to the river. Not yet, anyway. What am I using for storage? What do you mean, in the vehicle or on my body? Which, which storage are we talking about? Hey, we got the one with the van. Oh, the quad bike! We finally got the quad bike, cow farm. Oh yeah, I have so much fun. I love the quad bike. Quad bike's awesome. If you ever get a chance, go, go play have fun with the quad bike. Just swap out this trunk for a cargo space, so you up the carry volume from 200 liters to 500 liters, and it makes an awesome early game vehicle. Oh, no controls, couldn't drive it, damn it. Poor busted quad bike. We got all three of them though. We got the quad bike, we got the pristine condition regular bike, and uh, you got the van that has like 90 liters of gasoline in it every single time. Other than the big herd of uh, zombie cows <laughs> that, that'll rip you apart. Pretty good spot. Even have a cop car out front. Alright, still waiting for my middle of nowhere Humvee. Just sitting on the road waiting for me to occupy it and shower it with love and affection. Amigo Slaver! Oh my god, I haven't seen one of those in forever. We got a slaver. I forget what they do. What do these guys do? They do something special. Phonic Blast! They do they do something weird. An alien creature of uncertain origin, its shapeless pink body bears numerous sets of paired appendages of unknown function. And a pair of ribbed, membranous wings which seem to be quite useless. Its odd, vaguely pyramid-shaped head bristles with numerous wavering antennae. And simply gazing upon the unnatural beast, something or other, blah, 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 more, more scary text. So, we do have a tower to the north, or a scout tower up here, but we have a slaver to the south. Hmm. I also don't know the range of their ability, so we're, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get away from him. No good can come from that encounter. Uh, we have a silo tower. Let's go to the top of the silo tower. headlamp on again during the daytime. All right, back in the driver's seat, army man. So we didn't miss much to the south. Yeah, it is the same river, it just bends around. Not much chance of something being down there, so I'm not going to backtrack there. Now I've got this nightmare river wending its way right in my face. Only bridge across is up there, which is fine. We're wanting to head up that way anyway. Want to kind of fill in this section here. We're trying to stay in rough proximity to uh, the research facility that we cleared out, which is north of here. There it is. Trying to stay somewhat in proximity to that for just a little bit longer. If we finish this southern arc and we still haven't found anything useful, then I'm just going to forget that that's even there and we're just going to start driving to nowhere. Hopefully we don't see any more slavers on our way by the scout tower here. I don't think that slaver was attached to that scout tower. Maybe he was, but he might have been part of a portal or body site location. Hey, look, are you shocked? It's campground number 48 on our current tour of the Cataclysm. 
Another thing that's way overpopulated on the maps currently. I mean, good I guess if you really, really want the luxury RV that I'm driving around, but... I guess for the number we found, we've only seen two that had the RV? Three? Alright, um, I am not going to bridge it right now, so let's go this way. don't care about the crashed airplane. Guess I should roll north a bit, see if this is all forest filled in, and then cut across. Oops. Uh, renaming's a one-time thing. I, I don't want to get into arguments with people over who renamed what weeks ago, and then have to have to remember and verify. So, no, sorry. Get it right the first time. That's the, uh, that's the, that's the process. Hmm. I could use a map. We don't have mapping for this area. Let's see if there is a map. I need to get, can I see? Yeah, I can wrap the uh, vehicle around, so we should be able to get a look to see if there's a map in there before we make the attempt. Did I see a predator on the list for a second there? No, Necro. Come on, map. Can't quite see. Up, oh, up. Oh, map's usually right there. I think I'd see it even in the dim light. Let's, let's verify, though. Turn on headlamp or headlights. Turn the vehicle. No map. All right. Well, we're done here. We had a chance. This is an unfriendly bunch of useless empty terrain. Ouch. The river space there, so if it's doing a sharp turn up like this, there's going to be nothing for me to really look at over here. It's going to end at that farm, and I'm going to end up backtracking to that bridge anyway. That's a different thing there. This forest all by itself is actually an air vent going down into a lab. We got to check that out. See what kind of lab it is. Uh, grade is on the north side. Cool. We shall turn. Yeah, we can get a little closer. <laughs> I should rip out that backup beeper. <laughs> I really should rip out that backup beeper. Hey, backup beeper. Where are you at? There you are. Remove backup beeper. <laughs> Come on, auto save. Get done. All right, backup beeper is out and on the ground. No more announcing my reversals. Uh, I can't remember. Do I have to? Uh, do I have to smash ventilation shover? I think I can smash these instead of having torch my way in. I got a crowbar. What's my, my crowbar the... Oh, it's the heavily damaged one. Eh, what's your bash value crowbar? 16? That might be enough. Yep. Cool. Activate. Headlamp. Into the water again. 
So last time <laughs> we tried this, we had the very unfortunate circumstance of a predator digging his way through the machinery to get into here with me and adjacent to me. Very bad news. <laughs> so I don't want to repeat of that nonsense. At least now I know to keep an eye out for it. I just can't believe a predator dug through heavy machinery that quickly. We don't have the uh, the ankles announcing my arrival this time, at least. And in sight so far. We have a noise. I got two ways to go. They're looking like the 4x4, four four, but I... I mean, it could be a distorted, and I just don't remember it. Run, Vorm, run. <laughs> you misunderstand the point of the adventure. <laughs> I can only have fun if I stick my head into dangerous locations. And we're already trying to find a way of getting killed, so... Unless this is the boring 4x4 lab. If somebody tells me this is for sure the boring 4x4 lab, you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, I don't want to do that because it's boring. But uh, if it's the... A distorted lab, I definitely want to stay here and get killed here. So, I'm hoping it's a distorted lab or some some such thing. Um, I just, I haven't seen enough of them and I don't know the variations on the 4x4 that would have this available in it. I don't usually see this in the standard 4x4s that I get into. So, I'm hoping it's the fun distorted lab and we can get chopped into little pieces by something really nasty. I see plenty of, you know, the same stuff. Hey, look! Hey, <laughs> we got the fractional distillation and the separation funnel in the first room. And some mouse samples. So, I guess... Okay. Hi, Grappler Zombie. Uh, welcome to the party. Let's get a little bit of distance from you... Make you walk across the countertops to try to get to me. We'll make some noise. Didn't quite drop him. Butt stroke. Butt stroke for the win. Oh, we whacked him for 16 critical. Or 17 critical. Well, that was nice. All right, well, we've made our noise now. Ah, spitter zombie. Oh, crap. I don't like... I need you to die right now. Followed by a shock zombie. Damn. Uh, let's see. I need to get to the south door. Maybe I can get this. Whoa, that was... Oh, it's going to track me. It's going to track me. Run mode. Now I got the problem of... Let's see here. Can I get this done? Still need you to die first, I think. Uh, what? The spitter? Oh, okay. The spitter died. Great. Now I need to get that guy dead before he blasts again. Come on. Full auto. Please don't blast. Please don't blast. I got stuff coming in from the south. Grazing hits. Oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> uh, my exit point is there, and I got a bunch of things coming at me. 15 rounds left. Half the clip gone. Half the clip gone. Um, hmm. I'm not too worried about those guys in particular. It's, it's the ones I don't see that I'm worried about. Um, I would rather... I, I want to relocate so I have my back to my exit point. <laughs> not not having to charge through bad guys to get to my exit point. 
case really nasty stuff comes from other directions. Um, the noise has already been made. I guess I should just clear the path. Oh, get off of full auto. <laughs> Hey there, semi please. Hey. Semi, thank you. All right, we're down to the boomer glutton. I don't remember how hard these guys might hit. Uh, I'm gonna take a break though. Hey, uh, Bim Dorian, thanks very much for dropping some gift subs. Big old 10 pack drop. Let me, uh, let me, let me dial up some zombie dogs. At least it's not doing the, the terrible text-to-speech thing again. I have a battle rifle. I, uh, I I only choose to use it in places or situations where I feel I'm going to need it. And I probably need it here. I was intending just to kind of peek down and see what kind of place it was and then head back up again. Uh, this place is going to use an awful lot of rounds, though, probably to clear. So, I don't know. I'm torn. Let's see. Shoot this guy or try to claw him to death. I really need to get some melee practice too. But uh, I think I'm just going to shoot him. Oops. We're going to go right past this one. Make sure I get to my retreat point. Now the problem is distance. If a shock enemy shows up, it can blast me easily. But it's going to be true just about everywhere. I got super lucky on the range on that encounter. What can I find to make it worthwhile? Uh, it depends on what kind of lab it is. If this is a distorted lab, I just haven't seen one. I want to go check it out. There's there's really good stuff in it, but it's super dangerous, apparently. Uh, I have seen some chatter in chat. You know, that's where they do that thing. Uh, uh, back up chat here. Do -do -do. Uh, regarding Seven Days to Die co-op, we'll do some more of that uh, during the summertime. So my buddy Makem doesn't have a lot of free time, uh, except during the summertime. So another, uh, where, where are we at, March? Uh, a couple months. A couple months, we'll get some free time, and uh, we'll, we'll fire up another round of Seven Days to Die. That'll have given me enough time of a break to uh, before I return to it. So, yeah, we can do that. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I don't know where that zombie went. He got distracted by somebody, something or somebody. I guess I should get a reload done. I'm assuming that's going to be these doors. Something else is coming around. Activity showing from this direction. No. All right, a few more little guys. Let's uh, let's try a little melee. Until something nasty shows up. So we are 38. No problem. Uh, let's see. Get the Bionic Claws out. Who first? Yes, the Hazmat first. Ah, Claws against Slimes. Terrible combo. <laughs> I love it. Zombies don't touch me. Slime tears me up. All right, start doing some smashing. Uh, didn't I already? 
already picked those up. Fraction, ah, distillation is what I grabbed. I grabbed two things, didn't I? Hmm. Okay, well, give me the separation funnel. Don't care about the rest of that. Sure, we'll pick up some mouse samples. All right, I think that's everything pulped. Our current encounters. Frog sample. I haven't done frog yet. Uh, so far, it looks like minor zombies. Getting a lot of good knockbacks. Yeah, we're we're making zero progress on our unarmed while I use the the blades. That's unfortunate. I thought I would uh, would gain unarmed while using the violent claws. So we might have to try just fists. I just want to get that to level five. That's all I want. Nothing helpful here. Hmm. I'm not going to pick up every single sample. A lot like the entry area. Feral security guard and a Kevlar zone. Stun gun on the one. We're gonna. far they don't see yeah this is feeling off a lot like the standard 4x4 four four lamp hey feral security guard please tell me you're not the one with the gun stun gun uh i don't want to get stun gunned let's get some distance Put the uh, butterfingers away. be a little too slow if I try to do this. Uh, shady zombie. I mean, as long as I'm not taking damage, I guess I'll try to get a little bit of XP. A 33 focus, unfortunately. See 
if Aikido keeps this going. So what are the logs telling me here? So you dodge, you block. Armor protected me. You block, you dodge. I mean, if the combination of dodges, blocks, and uh, armor are keeping all the damage off, the danger is going to be stamina. Um, what is my dodge? My dodge is 4.8 in the current gear. That's actually pretty good. So we're using Aikido, which is a fairly defensive uh, martial art compared to some of the others. So we've got uh, dodge, extra dodges. We're getting extra block uh, bonuses, block effectiveness. We've got arm guards on, so we're not taking damage to our arms while blocking as much. Um, more block effectiveness stuff, more dodge and block. As you can see, lots and lots of dodge and block. We're missing the level five though, so we're missing, we've got all those. Uh, where is it? Nothing's tried to grab me. Oh, there we are. We're missing advanced Aikido. All right, I'm gonna keep fighting these guys melee. We'll see how effective it is with a uh, group of small zombies. All right, I need to get uh, I need to get the whatever the uh, knuckles. I need to get some variety of the knuckles going. Since they're not going to let me use my blade. I forgot the other ones. What are the other things that... Uh... Face Skulker? Yes, stop smashing, please. <laughs> hey, Face Skulker. What remains of a researcher lost to the portal storms, twisted and enervated by the presence that lurk beneath natural perception. It walks and st stumbles in a stuttered manner and is granted tenuous corporality only by grace of the experimental gear it wore when it died. Yeah, I want that gear. Hmm. Hmm. Hey there, best community on Twitch. Uh, we decided to travel around this episode and see if we could find something to you know, end the run in, and this might be the one. So we'll probably finish this one out tonight, unless we're in a really cool location and I'm still alive. I'm hoping to find like a distorted lab, which this might be, um, and then we'll start up a brand new episode or brand new series on Monday, probably, barring this getting more interesting. Uh, we're definitely not going to try to melee that guy, so uh, now I'm wishing I had the big gun. Uh... Run mode, get to there. Field. Vibe. There. Don't, don't, be, don't be running away or anything weird. Okay. Go check them out before anything else shows up. Malfunctioning 5-point anchor. Oh, that's unfortunate. All we got was a malfunctioning 5-point anchor. I'm not sure what their offensive capabilities are. That doesn't sound good. Might be time to go back and get the big gun. <laughs> I'm getting a little worried. I don't usually see phase skulkers in the uh, standard 4x4 lab, so I think this might be the distorted version. Yeah, it could be a skeletal juggernaut. Sounds like it sounds like there's more lockers here and they're breaking the, through the lockers, but I, I'm gonna assume that there's a wall. It'll take a Hulk Juggernaut level to get through that kind of a wall. Actually, concrete. I yeah, they can go through concrete. I think I'm gonna back off and go get the big gun. If this might be our final hurrah, we might as well blow all the uh, the fun ammo. Let's go get geared up for realsies. All right, so we're gonna leave the vibe and the stunig and that spare ammo. Uh, we're going to take you. Eat this list. Eat this list. Remember what it's called. 
<laughs> nope. There it is. RM88 battle rifle. And I don't have a spare mag, but it's fully loaded and... 8x40, I think we're using FMJ, right? Take the FMJ. Oh, Chihuahua spotted! Danger, Will Robinson. All right, what else? C4? <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I might need down here. Take an EMP grenade. A couple other more regular grenades. Some Molotovs. I think that's it. It's our weight. 90 out of 99, that's fine. All right, so we got the big gun, which I need to reload. <laughs> All right, 100 rounds in with 112 spare, and then we can, oh, 40 spare, and then we can swap into the 8x40 caseless. Um, do I want to drop any of the rest of this here? I don't need the doctor's badge with me. Has enough time passed that my, my gas mask is ready to go? Let's find out. I'll go check the gas mask. I'm going to keep the rest. Hey, I think it's done. Cool. Look at that. We didn't even break them. We threw our light amp goggles, our infrared goggles, and our gas mask into the washing machine. They came out great. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to wear the gas mask. Activate the gas mask. So we're good to go for gas. Need to reload the headlamp before I forget. Uh, yeah, that one's fine. All right, fully loaded. Everything's in good shape. We're protected for gas. It's uh, acid. We're, we're mostly okay for acid. We got hit by acid once before, and our atomic tap shoes seem to do a fair good job of keeping our legs protected. So I don't fear this tremendously unless I'm held in place in an acid pool for an extended period, which, you know, is always bad news. Um, electricity is my big weakness. So, and, you know, getting punched real hard or shot or stabbed. Or, or blasted <laughs> any of the, uh, the the bad things because uh, we've only got 40 44 health on most body parts and like 32 on our head so we are still frail we got rid of uh, the other bad cdms but frail and glass jaw are still around so 50 percent normal hit points and then 20 percent lower again on the hell on the head so we still have those to deal with on the plus sides, all we've got really on the plus side for combat situations is our adrenaline pump. And of course the claws. That's it. Other than that, that's not really going to matter because we've got the gas mask on. Don't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't really matter. So, yeah, adrenaline. That's that's our, our choice. Um, yeah, let's, let's go back in. Hopefully we got the immediate area cleared, and I won't have to worry about running into something here as I continue to look around. Well, that got a little more crowded. A tech to begin with, plus another shocker and an acid guy. I should be able to blow the tech down, I believe, before he can snatch the gun. That would that would suck. Then a shock had have to go next, which would be a problem. I'd probably have to shoot through the scientist or the uh, fat zombie. About a 51% chance for precise aim. All right. Uh, we got him. Enough. Too many shots for that time. Oh, see, I hate it when all of the other zombies screen the really dangerous one who gets to throw his zap power over top of them. I hate that. Uh, it's going to take me so many shots to blast through to get to the guy that's actually dangerous, and I need to get rid of him while I'm in this long corridor. I'm I'm not going to be able to get him before he can blast me. Hmm. Well, my throwing proficiency is zero. <laughs> this would be a fairly good place. I could drop a Molotov in the hallway. 
That might be an idea. None of them would be able to clear the Molotov. So if we uh, wear that and we wield Molotov. My, the danger is, of course, oh, I'm, I'm going to set myself on fire. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to set myself on fire. I can't afford to do this. I never took the time to raise my throwing skill. This will go, it'll hit the wall next to me and it'll immediately burst into flame. <laughs> do it. Or more precisely, do eat. Uh, no, no, you guys have already seen me set myself on fire recently. <laughs> You're supposed to learn from that kind of uh, mistake. If I had one more width of hall, if it was three wide and I could stand in the middle, I'd probably, I, I could get away with it. <laughs> Pull time. All right, I'm fine with that. Pull it. You still around under? Pull it. Yes, no. Should Vorm use a, a Molotov cocktail right now? I, 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 you guys are going to say yes. You're all just wanting to watch me burn myself to death. <laughs> just realize that if I do burn myself to death, the stream is over. You're done for the night. <laughs> so. I missed a rename. I, I, I know somebody tried to rename. I thought that was, was that separate from the, uh, the earlier request to rename something they had already renamed. Oh, uh, big, big daddy. All right. I see it. I'll get it. <clears throat> I don't know if that takes time. If we survive the Molotov cocktail shenanigans, then I'll I'll do the rename. <laughs> uh, I just don't. Th I think it'll take time that I can't afford right in this particular spot. So, all right, under might have must have wandered off. So, uh, pretty much everybody that has responded has said yes. So we'll try it. We'll try it. I just anticipate it setting myself on fire. All right, uh, activate Molotov, row Molotov on the other side, please. Any distance, I don't care where, just at least two spaces away. I just need it to not land adjacent. <laughs> That's all I need. If it lands here or here, I'm going to be set on fire. If it lands here, it'll set these on fire. But just, just not here, please. <laughs> God damn it. At least I got a chance to run. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. I told you so. <laughs> you think I haven't done this thing before? Yeah, I got saved by the extra time I had. It uh, We had one more round before the Molotov went off. So I got saved by that one extra round. Let me skedaddle. Now I just need to not be in the line of sight. Hopefully they keep coming this way since this is where they last saw me. We're going to back off just in case something survives coming through that fire. Watch the electrical guy survives just long enough to blast me. Turn safe mode on. Alright, I heard things dying. Oh, uh, the smoke's going to obscure my view, so I basically need to go do something else while that fire burns out. So, let's go look somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> finish banging on things over there. Let's go finish checking this area and maybe open that door. Seems like we have a long east-west corridor connection here. Uh, let's get the Battle rifle back out. Get it fully loaded again. Yeah, 96 rounds is plenty. I, it's still critical for me to have ammo after I've gone through 96 rounds before I get a break. I'm dead anyway. Slime's in the elevator. All right, those guys, I'm going to melee. Took a hit. No grabbing. Whoa, that guy is the skeletal. He can actually get some damage on me and make me bleed. Uh, I forgot about that. So, uh, back off. Take care of the bleed. 
And um, I'll have to maneuver him into a position where I can blast him. There we go. Now we've made another bunch of noise. Riot armor. Lupine. Nah. Mouse would be fun. I wouldn't mind doing mouse again. If we get the opportunity. Uh, bionic, Aikido, mouse. That sounds like a good time. All right, I think we found an edge. And if this is an actual edge, so it looks like it's an add-on. It's a, a set piece a square. If it's added onto a standard, oh no, that's, that's the entry point. So this wouldn't be the set piece added. So yeah, if it's like this and it's not the standard four by four lab, so I think we might have a distorted lab, which is great. I'm looking forward to getting slaughtered in a uh, a distorted lab. I have not yet had the opportunity. Alright, another dead end. Micro centrifuge. We'll take that. I forget which other ones I've got. Uh, fractional distillation, separation funnel, micro centrifuge. So, uh, I always get these mixed up. Concentration, distillation, separation. So we got three out of the four. Already. Who needs a stinky research facility? Bleach. I guess we'll grab a bleach. I gotta start making a pile over in the entry point. Um, sure, why not? Uh, just rapidly dropping as I fill up that backpack. Like we've got this corner fairly well cleared out, so I shouldn't have any problems coming up from behind, at least. Let's go ahead and, uh... <laughs> Chihuahua spotted! We'll make a pile right here. So, what was the last one? Distillation, sep separation, concentration, analysis. That's what we need. We need a lab analysis kit. That'll give us the last of the primary tools for making mutagens and CBM stuff. And we just need lots of these and samples. A lot of junk. Forgot to uh, ditch a lot of this crap before I went up. Or went down. <laughs> uh. A laugh when a chihuahua comes down and starts gnawing on me. Okay, I'm still looking for definitive yes or no on whether this is a distorted lab. Uh, I'm going to keep going to the north side. Give a little more time for that fire to settle down. So, we got a way into there. There. This is a dead end up there. Because this section sure looks familiar. This, this looks like a standard 4x4 lab setup to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be disappointed here pretty soon, I think. 